In this video, we'll show you how to calibrate an A&D weigh-in lab balance. We'll be using the FET 700 CT balance, but the calibration steps are similar to other A&D balances, including the FSI, the HRA, HR, GR, GH, GF, and GP laboratory weighing instruments. The FET 700 CT is calibrated external, externally only and calibration weights are optional. So we offer a full line of Tromner. These are all Tromner calibration weights. And you'll notice this is the their electronic cylindrical weights. And then these in the red, these are the two-piece weights that um, you can use tweezers or they have a special tool to lift it up. So we have here, this is a 100 gram, a 20, a 50, and a 2 gram. Um, any weighing instrument when first installed should be calibrated to ensure accuracy. Every location in the world is positioned differently to magnetic north and therefore the acceleration of gravity is slightly different. Before performing calibration, you should plug in the balance and we've had this balance plugged in for an hour to acclimate to temperature. When the AC adapter is plugged in, the balance is in standby mode. So right now we have the display on. If we were to turn off the balance, you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner there's an arrow. That means that this balance is in standby mode. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in the very lower left-hand corner. And that just means that power is going to the balance. So you don't have to have the display on, but you have to have the balance plugged in for at least one hour before doing calibration. Um, and then when the balance powers up, it should go to zero. So another important thing, you have to level your balance. Um, your weighing results will not be correct unless the balance is level. Most balances, lab balances, will have a sprint level and this one does in the lower left hand corner. We like to use, this is a low cost uh, level and bubble that we actually bought at um, Home Depot. It's a lot easier to see and we, I like to just place it right on the platform itself. So um, that is a bull eye level. It's uh, the manufacturer's Empire. The model is 3604, and I purchased this at uh, Home Depot for under $3. So anyways, it's a larger bubble, and it's easier to see. You have two adjustable feet on this particular balance to level it, and prior to making this start in this video, we've leveled the balance. The FX700T offers the ability to perform calibration using a choice of four different cal weights. So in this particular balance, you can calibrate with 150, a 100, a 50, or a 20 gram calibration weight. The default out of the box is 100 grams. Um, you can visit our other website for cal weights, which is calibrationweight.com, to see the full line of calibration weights we offer. So let's do a calibration using the default setup. And so what one does to start a calibration is they press and hold the cal key. And the balance says cal out, and then it goes to cal zero. And so at this point, we want to press the print key. And when we press the print key, in the upper left-hand corner, there's an arrow there. That's storing the zero reference voltage. Now the balance shows 100. So we'll place our 100 gram weight on the center of the platform. And once the weight is there, we want to press the print key. And again, in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see that arrow meaning that it's storing the value for the 100 grams. Now it says N. We remove the calibration weight. The balance returns automatically to the weigh mode. And then we can put our weight on the balance and the balance is now calibrated and we can put 
20 gram weight and this here is a 2 gram weight and you can see the balance is extremely accurate so now let's do a calibration this time instead of doing it with a hundred gram we'll do it with a 50 gram and the reason why it's user selectable is if someone's not weighing the full capacity this particular balance has a total weighing capacity of 152 grams uh, maybe sometimes gun and ammo people will buy this balance and they're not weighing more than well they weigh in grains but it's going to be well under 50 grams so for a tighter calibration they would use a 50 gram weight so let's walk through how to change the calibration weight so what one does is again we're going to go into the cal mode by pressing the cal key you'll see cal out and then you'll see cal zero so instead of hitting the print key this time we'll hit the sample key and so 100 flashes this is the default if we want to change this what we're going to do is press the re-zero key and we have now 150 200 i'm sorry 20 and 50. so you can just press the re-zero so this time we want to use 50. and so it flashes we want to store that value so to do that we're going to hit the print key we go back to cal zero now what we're going to do is press the print key again it's going to store that value so in the upper left hand corner we have that arrow it's storing it and now it's asking for 50 grams and we'll put on our 50 gram weight and again center of the platform and then we'll press our print button and again the upper left hand corner there's the arrow it's storing that value balance says n remove the weight and the balance now returns to the weigh mode and we can put our 50 gram weight on and there you have it now these steps <clears throat> are very well documented in the manual on page 13 so when you buy this particular product this is the fx 700 ct you can see the manual documents very well the calibration and the steps are outlined very clearly right here calibration using external weight so it watch you right through it a and d offers one of the clearest easy to follow manuals versus other manufacturers seem to intentionally write their manual so it's very vague or complex and it seems like their true intention is to have the end user call for on-site service clearly a and d weigh-in wants you to achieve the ability to calibrate your own balance since it's not rocket science all you need to do is have the correct calibration weight precision weigh-in balances is an authorized a and d distributor and operator of either balances.com or scaleman.com we offer the entire A and D weigh-in laboratory balances at discount prices. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, give us a call.